you're a Nigerian who doesn't live under a rock, chances are you've heard about the arrest of Ishmaela Mustafa, aka Mumfa, a Dubai based Hausa businessman who has become famous for showing off the most exotic lifestyle one can only dream of on social media. He got arrested by Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crime Commission Agency, EFCC, in Lagos for alleged involvement in internet related fraud and money laundering. Ishmaela alleged perpetrates his fraudulent activities under the disguise of being a bureau de change operator in Dubai. At the point of his arrest on Friday, October 18th, five brand new Rolex wristwatches with a total worth of over 20 million naira was recovered from him. The flamboyant Nigerian businessman is known for showing off on Instagram and is often pictured traveling around the world with his young family, rocking top designer wears from head to toe. The once a close friend to famous Nigerian celebrity Hush Puppy has different kind of exotic cars he displays on social media. From the latest Rolls Royce to the latest Ferrari 488 Spider, Lamborghini, G-Wagon by Tombo Edition won what millions to name a few. The father of two who once said money is his best friend, manages a bureau de change store in Dubai. He is obsessed with traveling first class, expensive Rolex watches and the rarest cars on the planet worth millions. After research, we are happy to say that we have everything you need to know about this young billionaire and his extravagant lifestyle. Hello guys, it's Nolin here for African Glitz. Ishmaelia Mustafa aka Monfa is a famous bureau de change manager in Dubai. He has so much money that got people questioning the source of his wealth. Because a man who manages a chain of money exchange shops can have so much money as profit. Monfa, as popularly known, likes to show off his wealth and luxury lifestyle on social media. From his luxury cars to designer apparels and pieces of jewelries. Monfa, who is in his 40s, got married to a Hausa girl just about the money started rolling in. After getting married in June 2012, they had their first child, a boy, years later. The couple welcomed another child, a baby girl on March 7, 2018. This baby is already living the dream life too. Monfa and his wife and kids live in Dubai. They often go on holiday together traveling around the world. He spends lavishly on his family, especially his young son, who he often proudly shares a picture of every now and then on Instagram with a word of money. He also made headlines on social media after buying a brand new Rolex watch for his 8-month-old daughter just months ago. His young daughter was named Gucci Baby instantly after he posted this picture. Monfa also treats his wife, whom he doesn't tag or disclose her name on social media, with his shopping spree obsession and all the good things of life. Uh, this one's tight for me. Let me see. Thank tight you. for me. She in return sits pretty and happily enjoys life. Monfa is best friends with his young son, whom he likes to show off on social media, rocking all the best designers from head to toe. In 2018, he showed off an iPhone X he bought when it recently came out, a present for his young little man who was barely 7 years old. Since Monfa discovered social media and Instagram thanks to his one-time best friend Hush Puppy, he uses the platform to show the world a glimpse of his lifestyle. The businessman is obsessed with traveling first class and often posts the pictures alongside his tickets so that haters can see. Monfa, as we all know by now, have a huge obsession for Rolex and prestige watches. He once took to Instagram to show off three Richard Mille wrist watches he bought for $500,000. According to the Bureau de Change boss, he purchased two for himself and one for his wife. Monfa and Money are best friends. He even confirmed this in one of his posts that Money is his best friend. He often takes to Instagram to show off stacks of dollar bills and other foreign currencies. When traveling, he also likes to take photos focusing the camera on his designer wares, wrist watches and first class tickets.
When you think of exotic cars, Mumfa the Money Man has got all the best in the world, including the rare ones. The billionaire showed off his newly acquired 150 million naira Rolls Royce worth in February of 2018 to his growing collection of cars. He also shared video of himself paying in foreign currency for the luxury car in Dubai as well as the receipt online. Mofa again went out to buy a brand new Rolex wristwatch just a day after splashing out 150 million naira on a brand new Rolls Royce. Two months later, the father of two revealed that he has deposited money for the new Rolls Royce Colina 2019, which cost between 200 to 250 million naira, bragging that he will be among the first owners of the make. Fast forward to early 2019, he went and got himself yet again a brand new Mercedes G Wagon B Turbo Edition 1 worth 102 million naira, which he paid in cash. Another hot purchase was his Lamborghini Avatando Roadster, barely three months later, and again showed it off online with a caption. As if that wasn't enough cars, he went again to get himself a McLaren flying car just to celebrate his birthday. Around the same time, he took to Instagram to show off his new Lamborghini and McLaren and wrote, My swag different, the Lamborghini and McLaren so noisy, my money so powerful, I brag different. Yet again, he went and got himself a new Bentley after his former friend Hush Poppy showed off a new Bentley online. The money man quickly shared his with the caption, No one can outshine me. Have you lost count? Please don't because we still have more to cover. He went and got himself a Ferrari 488 Spider worth around 150 million naira just the day after getting the latest Rolls Royce worth Eagle A 2020 worth 180 million naira. Momfa bragged about being the first African in the whole world and the Middle East to buy the luxury whip. He shared the new car on his Instagram page on October 1st. This was actually when he got arrested after traveling to Nigeria. The money businessman revealed that he made 14 billion naira in 2017 alone and he shared a document he received from his Federal Inland Revenue Service to prove his point. He also insinuated that 2018 was even better. The EFCC announced Mofa's arrest in a series of tweets via their verified Twitter handle on Tuesday, October 22nd, after arresting him on Friday, October 18th. The EFCC addressed him as a premium and first-class customer of one of the most popular international airlines. He was arrested at the Namde Azikiwe International Airport Abuja on his way to Dubai Emirates following a series of intelligence reports received by the commission. Investigations by them also revealed that Monfa is only using the BTC business he jointly owned with his siblings as a decoy to launder his proceeds of crime. The commission further alleged Monfa has volunteered useful information to the operatives and has admitted to be reasonably involved in the the two cases he was alleged to be involved in. At the point of his arrest, five wristwatches with a total worth of over 20 million naira was recovered from him. A picture and video of him was taken as he smiles, probably shocked by the arrest. Momfa now officially branded a Yahoo boy will soon be charged to court as soon as investigation is concluded, according to the anti graft agency. His arrest shocked Nigerians, including celebrities. Bob Risky is one of the celebs who reacted to his arrest after the news broke. Bob Risky expressed hopes of him surviving the challenges, which he described as a tough time. The crossdresser, who made it clear he spoke to him few days ago, finds it hard to believe all that has been written about the Dubai-based Nigerian businessman. His former best mate Hush Poppy has also voiced his opinion. He took to social media to post this post stating that people go through hard times and no one should be quick to mock another or use their trial time as a tool to chase clout. 
One celebrity who made her excitement clear about the arrest is Charity Nnaji, a Nollywood actress who begged Monfa for money in 2018 via private messenger. But Monfa instead screen grabbed the conversation and shared it on his page. It didn't go down well. Majority of Nigerians, as you can imagine, couldn't believe a Nollywood actress was secretly begging for money. And just like that, Charity Nnaji was dragged on social media. Hearing the news of his arrest, the actress excitedly shared a photo with the caption, It is better to be a beggar than to be a fraud star. Ouch. Zone 2 Police Public Relations Officer Dola Badmos also fired what appears to be a direct shot at Monfa after his arrest. Badmos made a post on Instagram warning people who wants to display wealth on social media. She said, if you really want to show opulence and display wealth extraordinary, be ready to display how you also worked hard to acquire them in order to avoid stories that touch. U.S. computer forensic researcher Gawana took to social media to comment EFCC over the arrest. He alleged that Monfa is a top 10 business email compromise scammer who mostly hides with his money in Dubai. Monfa is said to also have friends in high places and often work with Nigerian politicians and big boys to help them move money in and outside the country. The money man over the past few years has no doubt tensioned young Nigerians on social media with his world and its source. While the majority question his source of wealth, some still celebrate him and praise him for conquering poverty, including some well-known Nigerian celebrities. Despite all the display of wealth and riches, do you think Monfa might be innocent of the crime? Would you say EFCC will make sure justice is carried out and Monfa will be a scapegoat to other Yahoo boys? Voice your opinion on the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching our videos and you enjoyed it, why not check out our channel for more trending stories and news. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one. Hello guys, it's Nolene here from African Glitz. Do you send money to your loved ones in Africa? Well, there's a new way to send money to Nigeria or other African countries just like that. SendWave is the latest money transfer app right now and trust me, it's worth the buzz. With SendWave, you can send money to your loved ones within 30 seconds and it reaches them instantly. You can currently send money to countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania right from your phone without paying any fees. You can even send money at any time of the day, even at 3am in the morning. So, to download the app, here is what to do. Go to either Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for SendWave. Download the app and sign in using your name, email address and phone number before entering in your recipient's information. After validating your phone number, you will see the main screen where you will be sending money from. Once you've entered in how much you want to send, with the exchange rate right there to tell you exactly how much your recipient will receive. Just like that, 30 seconds later, your funds will be in the desired account and you will also receive a confirmation message from SendWave. It gets even better. Use our promo code GLITZ to have £10 added to your transfer when you send money for the first time. That's right, SendWave is giving out anyone who uses our promo code GLITZ £10 towards their first transfer. So, tell your friends about the SendWave app and tell them to use our promo code GLITZ right now and tell them to tell a friend. SendWave has been helping Africans in the diaspora send money since 2014 and has over 150,000 users across the UK US and Canada. SendWave has only been sending money from the UK to Nigeria since March of 2019 and are currently adding new channels and corridors to other African countries as they become available. SendWave is a legally registered money transmitting service in every country it operates. You know what that means. No more going to the banks or outlets to send money when you can do it instantly with your phone. Isn't that amazing?